Swanson. You're up. I'm up. I'm not sure why I'm up, but I'm up. Okay. Although I did, I did talk to Nicole just now on the the Lot 1A Longhorn Crossing. Maybe you want to give us the background first? Absolutely. I have a copy of Covenants for Longhorn Crossing Subdivision. And if you would turn to page 4, item D in this packet. In March uh, of this year, I brought a letter forward to the commission because one of the lot owners is accessing his lot directly off of Antelope Road. And according to the Commission Required Covenant, there is a no access restriction directly on Antelope Road. They are supposed to use Tumbleweed Trail, the internal subdivision there. Um, so I sent this letter certified, and uh, he refused to claim the letter. So I, I have the letter here. I just printed out a copy so you can see it. Um, so now what do we do? We've never had an issue before where there was a violation of a Commission Required Covenant that was not mitigated by us sending a letter saying, hey, you're not in compliance, come and talk with me to comply. So now we have to bring in the law. So he never acknowledged receipt of that letter, correct? correct? Mm -hmm. So what I, I would say, I mean, the next thing to do is to just have him served with the letter, like we do in a lot of different documents, including mm -hmm. civil lawsuits. And then we know for sure he's gotten it. And then at that point, if he doesn't comply, I'll, I'll look into what we do next. I know we dealt with this a couple years ago with some, there was an access road down south that Dana brought to us. And uh, the owner, the owner, the owner did end up complying. And I don't recall at that time what, if there's a penalty provision or a fine or something. So I'll look into that. But for now, I would say let's, let's have him personally served so we can confirm that he got the letter. And then if he doesn't comply, we'll come back to you with the recommendation of to do. You draw it up and give it to the sheriff's office and have sure then it's just I can just forward you that same letter and yeah. then you can oh, or just, or should I forward it? Just go the straight sheriff. to them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then there's a service fee or you guys I think we waive it for, for county county and court. So if it comes from you it would be waived I think. So So I can just push it to you. And is it okay if I just push it to I, you, or does I it have to come so through? So if you call and talk to Tammy, she'll she's the one that handles all that. So okay. she'll she'll know for sure, but I'm pretty sure it's waived. Okay. So, so I can just email it to her directly, though. Yeah. Her okay. So she'll whatever that you, date yeah. of service is, just keep track of that. Because okay. you'll get a return of service back. Okay. <clears throat> and then keep that in the file, and then just clock 30 days, and then grab us when it's 30 days if nothing's been done. So I should have a new letter drafted with a new date. <clears throat> Do you think and have the commission sign it? Yeah, and I, would, I use this March 3rd? I would, I would include that letter as well. We tried to send this letter, okay. certified mail, and it didn't re reach you for whatever reason. We're resending this issue, and then, and it could be honestly, if somebody, if somebody does, they're not aware, they get it, and they want to cooperate, it may take them a little longer than 30 days to get it done. So if they notify us and say, hey, I need time to do this and this, that's fine. But if there's no response, then mm -hmm. I need to figure out what to do next. Okay. So I will draft a, a second letter for this commission to sign, and then I'll get it to the sheriff's office. Sounds good. And I'd like to request that we hang out today. This we Perfect. Yeah, I'll today. do it. Yeah, it'll just take five minutes. Okay. Thanks. Okay. So the second issue on the agenda is Doll Funeral Home Claim Legal Approval. And I'm... Um, I got this, and I only got it because I go up to the accounting office every day and sign claims. So as I'm there, um, generally I'm asked by Michelle, what do we do about this? So we had a vote a couple weeks ago that we would ensure that we're legal um, because there were some questions brought up by MAKO Legal Counsel on these claims. They've already been signed, but in order to pay them, Michelle also wanted protection. So what we want from you, Corey, is a um, statement on the record, or okay on the record, that yeah, we can go ahead and pay these, or these are the items that you suggest we not pay. So um, here's the first one. And again, Mike and I have already um, signed them. And here's a second one. And it has uh, some of the same stuff, but a couple more. 
So who are all these people? And Mike, you've seen those, both of them have your signature on them. Yeah, yeah. your contributions about these are? And just to let, bring you up to speed, Mike, one of the questions that Michelle Beebe had was, since PILT can only be used for governmental purposes, can we pay for the family? So that's really the crux of what we just need to answer. Or just legal backing that says go for it, because it's the right thing to do. So the question is, can we pay these? Is that your question? Uh, Essentially. My question is, is will you give us the legal backing to pay them? Okay. Um, I, I think we should. I think it can definitely be argued both ways. I'm not an attorney. Um, but I think that, you know, I think that I'd like to pay them, but I want the legal okay and backing from you that it won't come back on us for doing so or on me for doing so. Okay. Well, the first thing I would say is don't pay them right now because crime victims' compensation pays for funeral expenses. I, I don't think it's going to cover all this, but we need to first go through that route, and then there's going to be probably a balance remaining that would make sense, so we're not doing this twice. Um, and I know that they, they've applied, I've confirmed with Brooke that, that that is covered and that they've also applied. So let me find out from her status on that. Okay. And then likely what's going to happen is we'll come back with a diminished a reduced balance, and um, they're fairly quick, but it's not going to be. It's not going to be like this week. It's going to be within a few weeks. So, and I'd be happy to call these guys and let them know what's going on. Or, or it doesn't have to be me. The finance folks can call them and tell them that that we're, there's kind of two two different. Um, Pays or pay or I guess we pay 